Hi, it's Patrick Hutzel from intensivecarehotline.com with another quick tip for families in intensive care. Before I go into today's quick tip, I encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel for regular updates for families in intensive care. Click the like button, click the notification bell and share the video with your friends and families and leave your comments below. Let's get into today's tip. Now, one of our readers wrote to us that uh, one of their biggest frustrations is that their loved one has brain damage after major heart surgery. Now, when does that happen and how does it happen, right? So what I've seen over the years after having worked in intensive care for over 20 years in three different countries, where I have also worked as a nurse unit manager for over five years, I've seen that sometimes after open heart surgery, patients end up uh, with a stroke and um, and that is very unfortunate and that's how brain damage can occur. That's one of the ways brain damage can occur. Another way brain damage could occur after open heart surgery is simply that a patient goes into cardiac arrest and needs uh, a CPR um, and then potentially sustains a hypoxic or an anoxic brain injury. So if that happens, obviously, then brain injury uh, can be present after or brain damage um, can occur as a result from um, open heart surgery. Now, what needs to happen after open heart surgery, patients need to go on anticoagulation, such as heparin or clexane, you know, to prevent uh, uh, the building up of a thrombus that could lead to a um, you know, to a stroke, for example, you know, but then you've got the risk. If you do give anticoagulation pretty quickly, you have the risk of post-surgical bleeding. You know, it's a fine balance. You have to weigh up very carefully. And obviously the stay in intensive care is prolonged after, for example, a stroke or a cardiac arrest. You know, in the ideal world, most cardiac uh, open heart surgery patients go into ICU um, for, um, you know, just for post-operative care. And then they're often out within 24 to 48 hours. So that's the ideal scenario. That's sort of the pathway. And if things go wrong, such as patients end up with a bleed, you know, or, or there's post-surgical bleeding, or they have cardiac complications, you know, that increases the risk for things to happen, such as a stroke or a cardiac arrest, you know, that could lead to brain damage. So how to avoid it? Look, very difficult to avoid it. If it's meant to happen, it's probably meant to happen. As I said, the biggest thing there is to put patients on anticoagulation such as clexane uh, or um, heparin, um, you know, blood thinner, so to speak. Uh, that is one way to avoid it. Uh, also, you know, good nursing care, physical therapy as early as possible, or ideally, but that you know, can't always happen day one, day two after cardiac surgery. Early mobilization can help. You know, those are things how to prevent it. So I hope that helps. Uh, and that is my quick tip for today. If you have a loved one in on one of those situations and you need help, uh, please call us at intensivecarehotline.com and call us on one of the numbers on the top of our website or simply send us an email to support at intensivecarehotline.com with your questions. Also, have a look at our membership for families in intensive care at intensivecaresupport.org. There you have access to me and my team 24 hours a day in a membership area and via email, and we answer all questions intensive care related. If you need a medical record review and a second opinion in real time, please contact us at intensivecarehotline.com as well. We provide medical record reviews and second opinions in real time. Now, if... Uh, you need a medical record review after intensive care, especially if, if you have unanswered questions. If you need closure or if you are suspecting medical negligence, please contact us as well. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click the like button. Click the notification bell. Comment below what you want to see next and share the video with your friends and families. Thank you so much for watching. This is Patrick Hutzel from IntensiveCareHotline.com and I'll talk to you in a few days. Take care for now.